Well, welcome back. I'm in the Lolo National Forest in Montana near the Quinn Hot Springs. Now, if you're not really a big fan of the talking aspects of my video, I'd suggest just go ahead and skipping it about a minute or so ahead in the video, video because I got a lot to unpack. So if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I was recently at Glacier National Park. It was about four days, jam-packed, full of stuff. Most days it was 12 plus hours. And I did something about 32 to 35 miles of hiking. Um, so it's been about four days since I left the park. I needed some time to recover and run some errands. And I'm ready to start uh, filming my adventures again. Uh, I will say that most of that time I spent in the Flathead National Forest. Uh, there was one day that I attempted to stay on the peak. Uh, however, it started raining, even hailing, and I was getting some looks from uh, quads that were coming up to the top of the mountain. They're like, you brought your van all the way up here. The service road was not in the greatest condition. Uh, so when it did start hailing, I went down the mountain because I was concerned that a tree was going to fall or there was going to be a rock side. I did spend one night in Kalispell again, so there's that. Now, as far as the next couple days are concerned, I'm going to spend... Uh, my time here in the Lolo National Forest and I do have a reservation at the Quinn Hot Springs. Now it is pretty late in the day already so um, I might do some hiking on some of the service roads around where I'm at uh, but I think we'll get up tomorrow and do some hiking as well and then uh, not tomorrow but the following day I have that reservation at Quinn's Hot Springs. I will say that it has been quite warm the last couple days in the high 80s. So trying, 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 excuse me, to stay cool has been a challenge. I did find a public boat ramp. There is the uh, Clark Fork River nearby. It is very strong current, and most of the bank has been eroded, so there's really not good access. Um, probably in the afternoon tomorrow I will go back to that public access to swim and cool off a little bit so here we go Lolo National Forest okay I've decided to hike up to a ridge near the campsite that I'm staying at and I thought I'd turn around and show you what it looks like this is kind of what a typical dispersed site looks like here in this part of Montana okay I've made it to the ridge line and this is the Clark Fork River. Okay, I'm hiking down Forest Service Road 412. It's just off Montana Route 135. For days and sometimes even weeks after I do a lot of miles like I did at Glacier, if I don't hike enough or walk enough, I get super restless. And there is a hiking trail just down Montana Route 135, which we'll do tomorrow. But hiking service roads or walking service roads, I find is one of the best ways to, to get those miles in when you're in the backcountry. Good morning. Second day in Lolo National Forest. I'm just getting organized, cleaning up camp a little bit. I will probably come back and camp here again tonight, uh, unless I find something a little bit better. So we'll start exploring here in just a moment, do the hiking trail. There is a historical mining site, I think, nearby. We'll try to go check that out, and then we'll go to the Clark Ford River to swim a little bit more. I'm on the Iron Mountain Road, although I think if you look at the Forest Service website, it actually lists this as the Iron Mountain Road Cascade Falls Trail. 
Um, I don't have cell service, so I can't look it up right now. Um, I don't think I'll go all the way to the Cascade Falls. Um, I'll probably do about an hour out and an hour back. Now, I was reading on the sign at the trailhead. It's at one time, long, long ago, was used to haul iron ore. I've made it to Cascade Falls. You probably can't see it, but I'm sure you can hear it. Um, the hike was a little bit shorter than I anticipated, so I'm actually gonna do a little bit more hiking in this area. Okay, we're still by the Cascade Falls. We're looking south at the Clark Fork River and Montana 135. Way off in the distance, I can actually see some of the buildings at uh, Quinn's Hot Spring. Okay, we got this really interesting rock pile. It's right on the trail. I've never seen anything like this before. Okay, I'm back at the trailhead and there's actually a campground here, Cascade Creek. It's a little bit more of established campground than the ones I've been staying at. Of course, they got some potable water, restroom, bear box. Looks like they got a trash can down there. Of course, it is $15 a day or 750 with an interagency pass. There is surprisingly spots uh, available tonight, it looks like, so I don't think I'm gonna stay here, but uh, it's an option. Okay, I moved just a little ways down Montana 135 towards St. Regis. I pulled over here at the Fairylandic picnic area to have some lunch. Uh, I did find out that there is a hiking trail here, so maybe tomorrow in the morning if I have some time before I do the hot springs, I try to knock that out. But we're gonna keep moving towards St. Regis, see what else this area has to offer. We made it to St. Regis, and this town is not really that big. It only has about 300 people, but right now it's extremely busy. I mean, it is the 4th of July weekend, and they have a rodeo going on this weekend. Of course, it's the 4th of July. I think most of the year, the town just exists because it's a major stop on Interstate 90. They have a massive gas station here. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the rodeo area, see, check it out, see if there's tickets or how does it work. Uh, and then we'll head back up to the Clark Fourth River to swim because I am cooking right now. Okay, I walked up to where the rodeo is happening and it looks like it's over for the day. Most of the trailers have left or are in the process of leaving. So just head to the Clark Fork River. Okay, I'm at the Paradise Crossing public access on the Clark Fork River. Um, you can kind of see towards the middle of the river, the current is extremely strong. And even in this shallower spot, it's uh, current is still very strong. I actually came a little bit concerned when I was swimming out here yesterday because I went a little too far in. The current was a little too fast for me. I'm just staying by the edge. Now I've actually turned about 90 degrees and uh, you can see that current is extremely fast. Um, I think even an Olympic athlete would have a very difficult time keeping up with the current. So I'm definitely not swimming in that area right there. Okay, I made it back to the same dispersed campsite that I had last night. I'm kind of surprised that it's not occupied. Um, so this service road doesn't seem to be too busy. So I mean, we're pretty close to the state route. So um, I did see a forest service vehicle drive up here. It is Sunday, which I mean, it is Sunday before the 4th of July. So you think people will be pretty rowdy up here, but really not, it's pretty quiet. I like it. Um, of course, going back, just got from, just came from uh, Paradise, swimming in the Clark Fork River, which is always nice to be able to 
cool off in a nice lake or a river. So there you go. About to cook dinner and then that'll be a wrap for today. Good morning. It's day three in Lolo National Forest. I came down to the end of the service road to the Clark Fork River. Now, I kind of didn't realize what day it was. I was looking at the calendar last night and I realized today is actually the third, not the fourth. Uh, so I have another day in the Lolo National Forest. I'll be able to do all the stuff that I missed yesterday. Um, it does mean that I don't have enough food. So I'm gonna go to St. Regis again and check that out a little bit more and then see if they have a grocery store. I know they have a convenience store, but that's not the greatest to get food uh, for camping. Okay, we made it out to Ferry Landing and we're on the river trail. Um, I think we'll do about an hour out and an hour back if the trail is long enough. Um, if you look off to your right, you'll probably see a couple vans, maybe an RV or two. I actually just went over there to check it out to see if there are any spots left and there surprisingly were. Um, there's no guarantee that if I come back there later today, their spots will still be there. It's actually kind of surprised there was a couple RVs leaving when I was pulling up. So there you go. Hopefully I can get a spot there tonight because it's an amazing area. To catch you up on what's going on, after I did the river trail hike yesterday, I did go into St. Regis. Uh, there was a little restaurant inside the convenience station and I purchased an overpriced hamburger and then picked up a few other items uh, to get me through. And then last night I did get a spot at the recreation area. Turns out it's a Clark Fork recreation area is what it's called. Um, I decided to do a little hiking before I head over to Quinn's. Came back at the recreation site. Didn't hike too much. Um, I'm going to start cleaning up here and then uh, get going to the hot springs. I will say this recreation site probably doesn't get a lot of use on the weekdays, even in the summer, more on the weekends. I think the reason why a lot of people are still here is that it's the 4th of July today. Uh, but even so, Two fifth wheelers and three vans have already left this morning. So there you go. It's a really nice sight though. Okay, I made it to Quinn's Hot Springs. I'm sure that there's gonna be a lot of people here today, so I'm not gonna film any of them, uh, but I will let you know how things go once I get done with the four hour session that I have. Just finished up at Quinn's Hot Springs. Of course, when I walked in there, you could definitely smell the sulfur and all the other minerals. And then I was skeptical at first because the first hot tub that I went into wasn't really all that warm. But they do have six or seven different hot tubs and they vary in temperature anywhere from 45 degrees all the way up to 105 degrees. Um, so it was nice. I would go to the 45 degree tub and then this. 105 degree tub so I was doing like this hot cold type situation I think I spent most of the four hours of my session in the pool I mean I did get out for a while had a couple drinks and uh yeah I'm definitely gonna have to do that again sometime uh otherwise that's gonna wrap up my time here in the uh, Lolo National Forest so I want to thank you for watching